What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Now, so you want to build your own AN line. So this could be turbo uh, coolant lines, or it could be turbo water lines, or it could be any line that you could possibly think of. And you want it to be like, damn bro, it's stainless steel berated, it is sexy, it is flashy, it makes all the boys come to the yard. Oh wait, is that how that song goes? Anyway, besides the point, you want to know how to make your own AN lines save some money and uh, learn something in the process. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to make lines. I have custom made all the lines on my Turbo NA and today I'm gonna be showing you how I'm going to make my turbo wheel feed line. But wait, first of all, what is an AN line? What's AN? It took me so long to figure it out. So I'm gonna show you what an AN line is so that it takes you way less time than it took me. AN stands for Army Navy. It was developed back in World War II. Yada, yada, yada. You don't really care. Let's build some turbo lines. Okay, so before you start making your fittings, you want to have your right size hose. So you have to figure out what size hose you want. For a turbo oil drain, normally you'll go with the dash four AN hose. Um, you can go dash three, but I'm going dash four. So you need your hose, you need whatever fittings that you are going to be putting on that hose, and preferably if you are going to cut it, this is actually how much I need, straight from the box, which is awesome. But if you're going to cut it, you need some, some way to cut it. Um, I recommend some Aeroflow shears because these cut way better than anything else I tried. So I tried a drop saw, hack saw, uh, a snap-on wizard wheel, like I tried everything. So let's get to assembling. So first thing you want to do is my hose is a bit squashed on the end. So I'm just going to grab some pliers and I'm going to open that bad boy, straighten it out a little bit. When you get your fitting, they'll look something like this. Now all you do is unscrew the back part of it and you open it up. Be careful, there will be a little silver thing on this stalk called an olive. That is very important, you cannot lose that. Um, this is a fitting I'm reusing, so I've got a new pack of olives, so um, that's why I don't have one on mine. The first step into making your AN fittings is you want to try and get your hose end, which is this part, and you want that to go over the hose and down. And that went on very nicely for me. So you just wanna have it on just so you can, you know, have it on. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in our vise. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is grab a little pick and you just wanna flare out the stainless steel braiding a bit. Flare it out a bit so you can get the union in there, just like that. Now we're gonna put that in our vise. And we're going to put our, take one of our olives onto the end. And then we're gonna insert our other piece. But before we do, just gonna put a little bit of pipe sealant on the thread. Go, just like that. Give that some love, spread it around a bit. You know, loves, loves being spread. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Okay, anyway, on to step 27. Um, <laughs> this should go in. Oh, look at that, it went in. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna pull that down and start oh start whisting her in now take, take her off and start it by hand and once it's started by hand clamp the bottom piece 
into here. Get your spanner and tighten her down. Oi, that's rude. Holy fuck. I nearly took my out. <laughs> Why is this being like this? This has never, never done this before. Try and make a YouTube video. What happens? I nearly, I nearly get taken out. I'm gonna stand back a little bit. Oi! Can you not? All right, we're gonna finish it off by double teaming it. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna double team it. I'm just gonna counter hold it with a different spanner because that is just ridiculous. Oh yeah, get on there. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Oh, goodness gracious. That was the hardest time I've ever had building a line. Anyway, that's how it ends up. <laughs> wow, that was extremely hard. I hope that doesn't leak. Anyway, so for those wondering, that is how you build an AN line. Now, instead of spending 20 minutes trying to put one fitting on like I just did, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not film the rest of it and uh, hopefully get some work done today. So, thanks for watching guys. Tune in next time. Love yous. Goodbye.